um, been having some problems with my propeller lately. <clears throat> and um, well, the problem is with the new propeller, the uh, flexofold propeller, is that when I uh, I uh, go in reverse, it uh, it won't unfold. And um, yeah, as you can <laughs> you can probably imagine what problem that gives me. The uh, I've been checking. I, I put it in reverse. I've uh, revved the engine and so on. I've got someone to rev the engine for me while it's in reverse and tied up to the dock so I could look at the propeller and it just goes around and around and just keeps being folded. So it gives me a, a, a lot of challenges when I'm um, needing to um, to dock and, and so on and uh, in my mind it's quite scary because I am uh, or if I will come in a situation where I have to do a crash stop um, I would need I will absolutely need need the propeller to unfold and, and go in reverse I don't have I don't know what the problem is actually um, it's uh, I, I think it's a little strange because the other propeller I had was uh, this wasn't a problem at all <clears throat> But the blades on the flexofold is a little lighter, so it could be that the centrifugal force isn't big enough. As you can see from this video you are watching right now, uh, we are going back to Bulan. Uh, that's the island we were on last time, and uh, we just went out for for a for a, a day to have a walk and so on. But here here is a problem: I can't get the, the uh, engine to reverse probably so or the propeller to unfold when reversing so it gives me a, a lot of problem um, I found out that when if I give it a short burst in uh, in uh, forward and then goes and then uh, so the blades unfolds and then do a full backwards uh, uh, throttle it will it will actually stop but as you can see here I'm struggling to get it to go into reverse I'm pitching it forward, pitching it backwards, the propeller collapses, uh, and so on. Finally, I get it, but um, then the the prop walk uh, leaves me in a little sticky situation when uh, laying into the uh, into the to, to the dock here. Anyways, I've been diving on the on it. Uh, the first dive was without um, a neoprene socks and a hood, so uh, and that was really cold. It was felt like I had a constant brain freeze so I didn't manage to, to dive uh, so long uh, but my second dive I bought myself some neoprene socks and a neoprene hood to to actually dock I'm sorry to dive uh, so yeah I'll show you it was it's really really cold in the water in Norway at this point so it was just down just to check if the propeller is stuck uh, and uh, try to uh, to clean it and, and that's it I haven't had the time to to try it though although I don't think that's the that's the problem anyways um, take a look this is the only thing I got filming though <laughs> I have to find I have to find a, a solution for this problem and I, I emailed flexofold but they are they, they won't respond so it's a uh, pretty good shot to the bow for flexofold they've um, been doing it good in tests and so on I read much good about them but my first hand experience with flexofold this far is really really bad so yeah yeah let's take a, take a look at me diving
Åh, oh, har du det kallt? Ja. Ja, det er sånn det. Well, the solution for now is that flexofold propellers are crap. Um, I can't find any problems with the propeller, and I can't find any problems with the with the with the way I I mounted it, and and so on. So uh, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that 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 that's wrong with it. Um, I may ha have an idea on actually blocking some the outer teeth of uh, of the propeller in between the propeller blades that make sure the propeller blades are folding properly pro properly <laughs> if i can I can block the outer the, it, the propeller won't fold completely in and uh, thus will um, be easier unfold when it gets uh, gets centrif centrifugal force in my head that's at least the other, the other option is actually taking the boat back up on the hard. That will cost me about a couple of thousand original dollars, and um, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and, uh, and changing the propeller back to the old one. Um, so, but uh, if uh, anyone has had the same problems or know someone who has had the same problems, uh, please leave a comment or. Uh, Give me a solution. What did you do, and so on. So that's all for from me to this time. But uh, I'll hopefully be back soon with some selling videos. Take care, Claire Skies to you all. Bye bye.